Skilled based matchmaking is one of the most buzz killer things in Cold War and you're looking to lower it without exploiting the system or reverse boosting in some kind of way. Well, don't worry as I got you with a small fix to make your experience better. So chances are, if you're watching this, you probably play Cold War for a limited amount of time because SBMM just kills your vibe and you get off the game. Well, with this one tip I got you with, you should be able to get a more enjoyable time before you start to lose your mind. So let me start this off by saying this is only temporary, and the longer you do play Cold War, the worse your SBMM will get, so if you're looking to play all day with that casual experience, then you are going to have to reverse boost of some kind. But if you want 3-5 to five games of casual COD fun, then this should help you. This sounds way too easy to be true, but trust me, it actually works. Chances are, if you're getting screwed over by SBMM, that means you're in sweaty lobbies and you have to try to keep up. Stop sweating. Think about it. Do you slide cancel or jump shot people? You probably do. Just stop that. Now you might get trashed on for a game or two, but once this happens, you're going to be in the clear and you're going to get some very casual lobbies and you're going to enjoy your time a lot more. So what is actually happening here is that the system itself that decides the SBMM, it tracks your movement. And if you don't slide cancel or jump shot, you're going to be putting lobbies with other people that don't slide cancel or jump shot. Now of course there will be 1-2 to two people trying in the match, but I much rather have 1-2 to two people trying than 10 people trying. Now. I could be completely wrong here, but I've tried this several times and it has worked for me every single time, so this should be a good way to lower your SBMM. Now, I have tried my hardest in matches to test this, and as you can probably guess, I got placed in lobbies with people that are also trying their hardest, and it just becomes unfun after a while. But if you simply just stop trying, you will get easier lobbies and you will have much more casual fun. All you have to do is just hit your shots, and if you can't win gunfights purely off aim, and you have to drop shot or jump shot to win a gunfight, then maybe COD isn't meant for you. But, if you have ever watched any of my other Cold War videos, you will notice that I never jump shot or slide cancel, and if I ever do, it's very limited, and I maybe do it once or twice in one single game, and that's just out of my pure nature just wanting to do it. All you have to do is simply just not try, and you will get much easier lobbies, I'm assuring you. Now if you are enjoying videos like this though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Cold War content like this, and don't worry as it's always free to subscribe, and you can always unsubscribe later. But it is really that simple to lower your SBMM. Now if you do want to go the extra mile, you can do this by playing bigger game modes like Fireteam Dirty Bomb or Combined Arms where the SBMM is already less because it's harder for the system to pair you with 24 other people with your same skill level. But I also know most people that play COD are 6v6 COD fans like me and just don't rock with those modes like how I don't care for them at all. Now again, I do have to stress this, it is only temporary. If you keep playing for hours on end, then your SBMM will go up and the game will become much less enjoyable. But if you just casually play for 2-6 to six games per day, then the system will be much easier on you because they are trying to get you to stay on the game as long as possible. That's what the system is here for. So just don't fall for the retention based matchmaking and know when to get off the game because you're not having fun and don't try so hard and your Cold War experience should improve a little bit. Now, of course, you could just simply reverse boosting by exploiting the system, but I also don't know how to do that without buying another account, so I just messed around for a couple weeks to see how I can naturally lower my SBMM without actually tanking my stats, and this was the best way I found out how to do it. Simply don't try, and you're going to get much easier lobbies, and as you see in most of my videos, I go positive every single time, and I still have a positive KD. Now if you do have any other tips, leave them in the comments below so other people can see that, or I can see it so how we can lower our SBMM as well, it'd be nice to see because as we all know, SBMM is the main killer of Cold War and it really sucks that it's here. But if you did enjoy the video though, a like is greatly appreciated, it's helped me even more, but until next time, see ya.